Hey everyone, this is Chirag from DCOnCloud.com. In this video, I would like to share tips to prepare for AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification. So recently, I have appeared for this exam and uh, I have successfully passed. So if you are planning to appear or preparing for this exam, hope this will be helpful. So let's get started. So I would like to set a context that what you can expect from this exam and for what kind of audience this exam is targeted if you are new to cloud or you are trying to understand about the basics of aws then this exam covers that area and will give you that recognition so regardless of your background if you are experienced or if you are into some other uh, career vertical and you are planning to move into the IT and specific to AWS cloud so this exam is a entry point to understand about the basic services how the architecture or where or what services can be used to build your infrastructure and application and important part I found like if you are student and and you know planning to start your cloud career so this is a good to have so you can explore this exam this exam consists of 65 questions 90 minutes and uh, for sure that 90 minutes is sufficient to clear for this uh, uh, clear for this exam and big thing if you are into sales especially in the IT sales like me I am into the cloud sales so very very good points are covered in this exam to understand from the sales angle so if really really i highly recommend sales guys if you are planning to start your cloud pitch then just have a look on this exam try to understand the services how you can map it to the on-premises infrastructure and how aws is building building their own ecosystem so this exam is for everyone it's not specific that this kind of uh, vertical need to appear just know about that if really you want to focus on aws if you never played before on aws don't know or never played in the console don't know about how the building blocks of aws services have a look appear for this exam you will get an idea that what kind of questions are there because I believe this will set the foundation to appear for the next level of exam let's say about the associate architect or developer or sysops but this exam will for sure give you the AWS exam pattern. So key point to answer to figure out the uh, right option from the questions is to understand the requirement. The questions will be not that much lengthy but there will be some scenario given and at the end of the question in the requirement it is uh, asked that you need to figure out what will be the minimum management way or some kind of lowest latency way or some cost effectiveness or fault tolerance so try to understand the scenario and try to understand what question is asking so that keyword is the most important to map with your options and then you will easy to figure out that this will be the right option you need to go with. So keep remember that read the question maybe twice, thrice until unless you are not sure about the option which, which will be the perfect match for the requirement. So topics I would like to cover all the major services which consist of EC2, VPC, S3, Elastic Cache, CloudFront, security from the IAM or you can say the kind of little bit kind of encryption services. Everything is very well covered but not in a very deep level. You really need to understand the differences you can say about different kind of storage services where the work of storage gateway or uh, or relational database what kind of different databases are there and another important part is pricing so you need to understand there are few questions where the scenario is given and it is asked what kind of uh, 
you, uh, instances we need to use whether reserve instance will make sense or uh, spot instance or on demand so you need to understand about that conceptually that how the AWS pricing work support I, I was surprised I was not expecting but yeah you need to know about the support plan in which scenario that what kind of support will be suitable so just have a look on the documentation you will get an idea and there will be some tricks few questions I can say it will be very straightforward and you will be able to quickly figure out the best option or the perfect answer that that can be your passing score but few questions come with the tricks so don't mistake to re uh, without reading the proper question and requirement and choosing the option that will be the fastest way to fail for this exam because this these kind of questions will real test your knowledge so make sure you cover the topics the understanding the foundation that where the ec2 work what kind of ec2 instances or scenario will happen let's say basically like memory memory type of instance compute instance compute intensive or io intensive so you need to have a basic idea in which kind of scenario it will work so the final thought is that that this is an entry level exam and if you are really want to understand about the aws certification pattern the question pattern so it is a good to go so but don't expect that this will give you the uh, knowledge to build complex architecture because this is not the focus of this exam or not the focus audience for this exam so but it will set a good base foundation what i feel for for the people who want to start or who want to switch or enter into the aws cloud as a career option so best way to prepare for this exam that you can follow a lot of training on aws.aws.training uh, AWS training is available so free courses are available you can take your time set a target date let's say for next five to six weeks you just try to understand the service create your own account focus to walk through the services let's say building the ec2 instance step by step so i will i will uh, in description i will post my video so you just go through that video you just create your own account just go through the steps it will cost nothing but it will give you the whole idea what are the steps involved what you really need to know let's say creating the s3 bucket that costs nothing but it contains multiple steps to understand about the purpose of that storage service so better just focus just create account have a walkthrough try to understand the basic concept and you will be ready for this exam thank you folks if you have any suggestion please feel free to share and please subscribe to my channel for more videos on the cloud computing